Welcome back. This is a map created entirely by AI. I've been playing around with QGIS MCP and giving Claude Desktop just two prompts. This is the map that was created. All I had to do was download the data. So if you'd like to see this process in full, then watch on. At the end of this video, I'll show you how you can install QGIS MCP yourself and get started with robo mapping. Here I have QGIS open. I'm going to go up to the QGIS MCP plugin, click on that, and just click Start Server. There I can see it says Server Running on port 9876. Next, I'm going to fire up Claude, always very welcoming. And you can make sure that your QGIS MCP is working by having a look at your available tools. Here I've got QGIS down the bottom. Now what I'd like to do with Claude is just test how far we can push it in terms of creating a map with minimal prompt. So I'm going to send this to Claude. All it is is I've got a project I'd like to do using QGIS. The brief is to create a map with at least three layers. I'm interested in earthquakes, find the relevant data, download it for me, and then create a map and style it accordingly. I'll tell it what my working directory is and let's see what it can do. All right, so Claude has let me know that it cannot download data for me, but it has identified some data sources and I can go off and download those myself. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I've downloaded those and I decided to go for a CSV for the Earthquake Hazards program and download it in that format to see what Claude will do with it. All I need to do now is tell Claude that I would like to continue. Always be polite to your robot overlord. What you'll find with Agentic AI is that it will come up with ideas of what it wants to do and then you have to okay them. So if I allow this once, Let's check that QGIS is running and now it wants to create a new project. Up in the top left, you can see that project has been created. And it wants to add a vector layer. Go for it, Claude. Interesting, it's having a tough time finding the data and that's because it's in the sub directory that I created. So let's see if it can work out how to get around this. It has indeed got around that so now it's found the plate tectonics. Off we go. In they come. Now, one thing I should point out is that when the AI says that it wants to execute code, this is just arbitrary Python code. So it is very much recommended that you actually read what is going on in here and make sure nothing nefarious is happening. That all looks good though. Wow, then Claude just weirdly stopped, deleted everything that it had done in terms of our conversation and just kind of rolled back a step. Looks a little glitchy, but as its final statement was, I've created a PNG for you, have a look at that. Let's take a look at that. If you would like to play around with QGIS MCP yourself, then head on over to the repo it is by JJ Santos and it has a really well written readme that takes you through the setup step by step. There are some prerequisites to this. You'll need Claude Desktop, you'll need QGIS, um, amongst a couple of other things that we'll look at now. One of the most important ones is to get UV installed. UV is a little bit like PIP, 
or virtual env kind of rolled into one. So it uh, allows us to install things and set up environments as and when we need them. I'm on Windows, so I'm just going to go through the Windows commands. Open up PowerShell, copy and paste this in. UV will install. It will then tell you how you can get the path added to your environment so that you can access UV programmatically or any code can access UV. The next thing to do is to clone the repo. Now, the way that I did this, I just open up my folder, go to the folder that I want to save it in and then use git clone. I didn't use this command because this requires SSH and I didn't have any keys set up. So instead what I used was HTTPS and you can do that by going up to the code here, HTTPS and copying that. Brilliant. So now all I need to do is choose where I want to save this to. I'm going to save it in this folder called QGIS MCP demo. I'll double click there right click and then I can open in terminal and then all I do is git clone and paste in that HTTPS and off it goes it's downloaded that git repo once you've achieved that the next thing to do is in QGIS install the plugin now this currently isn't available on the plugins repo so manage and install plugins, you won't be able to find it there. You will need to install it manually. Looking at the repo, there is work going on in order to create a plugin uh, that will be available on the official repo. So keep an eye out for that. The way that I like to do this, uh, if I'm testing something new, is go to settings, user profiles, and I will create a new profile. I'm gonna call this QGIS MCP demo okay that and what this will do is just open up a new instance of QGIS it'll have no plugins installed it's kind of like a fresh install really so it gives you a clean slate to play around with new toys now to install the plugin manually all we do is go back to where we downloaded the git repo double click on here and you can see QGIS MCP plugin this is what we want to get into QGIS. So I'm just going to copy that and then I'll nip back over to Q. And in Q, you can find your user profile and open active profile folder. That will take you to all the information, all the settings, and everything that you need for this particular profile. If you go into the Python folder, because this is a brand new profile I don't have any plugins set up yet so I'm going to right click create a new folder and call this plugins and then all I need to do is paste in the QGIS MCP plugin once you've copied that folder across you will need to reboot QGIS and then you can go up to plugins manage and install plugins and you should see installed there's QGIS MCP and you can just tick that little box and close out of your plugins. What that does is open up here QGIS MCP. Awesome. So now I can click that and see the panel in order to start the server. I'm not going to do that just yet because we do need to do a little bit of setup with Claude's desktop as well. The setup in Claude Desktop is pretty easy. There is a little bit of code to copy and paste from JJ Santos's repo. And when you're in Claude, you can just go up here, go to File, go to Settings. Settings will pop up, and then you can scroll down to the bottom to Developer, and then you can edit your config file. This will open up where your config file is on your uh, machine and you can right click that open it with your favorite code editor and you can see that mine already has the mtpc servers set up so you need to point it directly to where you downloaded the repo so it's got to be qgis mcp src qgis mcp so this front bit will be different for you because your machine has a different setup than mine so make sure that's the absolute path once you've done that, you can save it. 
And then a final thing that I'd recommend is to go into Claude in your system tray and just quit that. And then you can, in QGIS, start your server. Server running on point nine eight, port 9876. Open Claude back up. And when you check your settings here, you should now have QGIS available. In here, you'll be able to see all the tools that are switched on and you can get more information about those on the repo by JJ Santos. So I hope you found that useful and please do let me know how you're using QGIS MCP. I have to state that I have nothing to do with the development of this. I'm just showing you what tools are available. And it would be great if you tag me in anything you create with it. I'd love to see what people are doing with it. Don't forget to be extra careful when you're using the execute code. Always read it, make sure you understand what's happening. And the final thing is that I had Claude attached to my Google Drive so it can save and interrogate files on there. I think that's all for now. Happy prompting.